So this is a deck that I'm actually really interested in seeing how it will go as well. I had to think uh, quite a bit about how to build the deck exactly. The deck is going to be a Lakari Sacrifice deck. First of all, we're going to have to uh, break open the piggy bank. Sorry, Golden Scenarius. And I, uh, you're an excellent waifu, but... Okay, hold on. We can we can spare Aya for now. Let's get rid of Golden Arcane Missiles. Oh! Golden Pyroblast. Oh! Alright, Blood Bloom. Oh! Brass Knuckles? Alright, see you Brass Knuckles. So... I believe it's in flavor to sacrifice all those cards for the Lakari Sacrifice, which this deck is based around. Melkazolar, Soulfire Library, and Silverware. These are uh, across both Zoo as well as this deck. Um, we absolutely must have Clutch Mother, best card in the deck. Okay, I know I want those cards for sure. And then I think I wanted... Whoa, what if I... What if I used a little bit of an elemental synergy with this deck? And if sometimes if I don't get the elementals... Oh, what if... Whoa! Whoa! I mean, I'm already putting in those two cards, which are like my two pet favorite cards from Ungaro, Firefly and uh, Igneous Elemental. And I'm drawing a bunch of cards, so at least seems good. Uh, have the Abyssal at the end. Now we look at Elemental. Wow, Tarlurker's an elemental. Hey, maybe that actually... I put that card as one star, but... But I guess we'll have it. And Tar Creeper, maybe. So Tolvir, Servant, and... Blaze Color are the reason to put in the elemental package. I didn't even know Warlock had an elemental package. Yeah, let me cut one Tarlurker. I, Tarlurker might not actually be run in the deck. Should I run Blaze Color if I'm already running Abyssal? Let's get rid of the other one. We'll, we'll run one Abyssal, too. Ah, I forgot Mistress of Mixtures. Eh, maybe don't need Mistress. The Elemental Package kind of is defensive by nature also. Okay, well, this is the first deck that I made that wasn't uh, based off of... That wasn't planned. It was like a sudden burst of inspiration. I saw that I had included Firefly and Igneous Elemental into the deck already. So the goal of the deck is to uh, achieve the Lakari Sacrifice quest. However, since I was putting in Firefly and Igneous Elemental, I figured I might as well put in well, the Elemental Package of Blaze Caller, Servant of Kalamos, and Tolvir Stone Shaper. And then it's like, okay, Tar Creeper is an Elemental. It's pretty solid. Yep, yeah, seems okay. I originally had a uh, Hemet Jungle Hunter in this deck too. But I suppose I can go without for now. The initial, the, the actual execution of this deck and the initial idea for it are very different. Uh, so, I mean the details, the, the big picture details are the same. It's not Zoo because you have to actually discard cards, so I put in a bigger, I put in bigger stuff. Uh, but the bigger stuff I ended up putting in was the elemental package. Uh, because Igneous Elemental and Firefly both give you bad cards in your hand to discard, and you need cards to discard, makes a lot of sense. Uh, I can actually start with Firefly, since it's not like I'm going to discard anything. So basically this deck aims to never be playing these cards, however I happen to draw both of the Silverware Golems, so I might actually play them. Oh, I probably should play the quest before I discard it. I mean, it's not like I would ever play a discard card first, though. Ash to ash. All right, three drop elemental into a uh, Tolvir Stone Shaper, the classic. I did not think the first elemental deck I was going to play was Warlock. Uh, 
You guys are witnessing dank creations here. Uh, I might want to coin out flame elementals so I can serve enough Kalamos. That's kind of interesting. Oh! Oh! Dang! That, that is, uh, not ideal. Alright, gotta play an elemental for my Servant of Calamus. This deck is actually more late game than his, so I'm willing to trade to dodge Fire War Axe, potentially. And also, taunts. Let's see, how do I want to do this? I want to Soul Fire. So I guess the question is to tap or to play Tar Creeper, and it should be the tap. Should I tap first? No, I should uh, Soul Fire first. Tap last, because there's so many cards in this hand that I want to discard. Let's see, and I should play a Flame Elemental because there's a chance I top deck plays Caller, or a Buff Lover. There's like three cards left that uh, are Elemental based. The Menagerie is for guests only. Oh, rewarded. Oh, good on him. Keeping those, uh, Zulok stand. Or those, uh, Pirate Warriors stand. 1 5 tap, I think. Mm. They're always lucky. Did I play an elemental last turn? I'm pretty good at the game. What did I play? Oh, I played Tar Creeper. Nice. Pretty unfortunate first run. To be fair though, I did end up milling Malkazar's Imp, which would have given me uh, potentially up to four cards. So, my bad. Uh, I, I did get pretty unlucky with this one, I would say though. <laughs> That looks promising. So I'll probably want to play that on turn 5. 
Huh. Hmm. Do I play a Librarian on turn two? Mm, I think I tap on turn two. It's kind of tough for them to deal with the Amp. Maybe. But I might as well ensure the discard of the Librarian. It's so cool to see Gadgets and Ferryman uh, be played. Though that one was the Brewmaster. So I think the key to beating this deck is by clearing their minions. I mean, he's almost uh, at the... If I don't clear these minions, they're going to be 5-5s five and I'm just going to lose. It's kind of rough. So that's why Dog says that Zoo is good against this deck. Makes sense. I have one more turn to clear this stuff. Unless he doesn't have another bounce for his thing. In the worst case, he has preparation crystal core and then I lose. But in the best case, he slows down because he's not always guaranteed that stuff. I wonder if I go Servant of Calamus. No, that must be wrong. Come on, don't discard Doom Guard! Yeah! Whew, that's what I like seeing. So he's got the combo, um, I mean, he's got the quest completed next turn, and he can even play the result. However, as long as I uh, clear off most of the board, it shouldn't be that bad. That's the theory, at least. No, I'm clearing all the board, in fact. Nice. One more uh, discard and I got Lakari Sacrifice. That quest seems really bad to play if you don't actually have anything on the board. That's why I rated it a 1 star. I thought more decks would be able to keep that deck off the board. That card off the board. Which might be the case. It's possible. I mean, it certainly looks like I'm wrecking this guy. Note to self, the portal always goes on the right side. Oh, oh man! Whew, what is despair? I can't believe this. I, I definitely lost. I can't believe it. Your 
That's my best performing deck of the day so far. Handlock? It is in fact Handlock. I've been doing a lot of science and a lot of experimentation though. Since it's the people's will. I think I could uh, certainly use Handlock to climb the rank legend though. This imp is really scary to keep around because it's quite pot it's quite easily a draw too with the Lakari Fellhound. Wow, that eviscerate respect. Wow, this is uh, when the deck goes bad, huh? Alternatively, I have no idea if he just misplayed it. It's hard to tell. So I do want to play a Flame Elemental since I want a Blaze Color next turn, but I also want to discard a Flame Elemental. I don't dis I don't think I'm going to discard both. The chances are fairly slim. I'm pretty sure it's the best play to play Doom Guard and then Flame Elemental, and then just get crushed sometimes when I discard two of the Flame Elemental. The full hand, right? Ten. So the chance of discarding both is like it's pretty small. Nice, that one. Like, the best case was losing exactly one. Doing alright, huh? can match his 5-5s five with my 6-6s, six which deal 5. Uh-oh. Okay, it didn't work, thank goodness. I think it's right to tap here and not play Soulfly. Oh, I happened to play an elemental last turn. Five fifteen, pretty good against a deck with no hard removal. Uh, are we good? We're 
good if he has not one bounce card. Okay. Oh man, what a game. Wait, actually, I'm not out of it yet. Amazing. Extraordinary. The next turn I can go to well hold here. So many possibilities. Just thinking about if I want a soul fire right now. I think so. I have the mana. I'm clearly mana limited. Oh. <laughs> A prep rage. It's very possible that Lakari sacrifice comes into play too late to be meaningful. Well played. Well played. Needs exactly eviscerate. I hope you like my invention. We're drawn to eviscerate. Drink with me, friend. <laughs> we finished the quest. It doesn't matter. I hope you like my invention. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you are supposed to build it like a zoo. Your soul shall be mine. But maybe discarding six cards is just uh, ridiculously difficult. The problem with playing this uh, deck of Zoo is that you don't have six cards in your hand to discard. So, you just kind of naturally come to the conclusion, oh wait, it just doesn't work. So my deck can discard a total of eight cards, right? Two, four, no, I can discard a total of ten cards. Play a full control list with death when gives your discard. Yeah, I mean, handlock just trounces that though. I don't want to play a strictly worse handlock. Not strictly worse. In my mind, pretty much worse. Shields up. This jungle hides many secrets. Like why, uh... Why well, go through the emotions of Lakari sacrifice when I can just play a Jaraxxus? The two are kind of very similar. I actually have no idea how I'm gonna get past this trash. Nope, almost made the same mistake as before overdraw of Igneous. Maybe the goal is to save the discard until last uh, and guaranteed cycle with it with Malkazars. This is a very stalemate board.
This is what it's like to play Magic the Gathering. Your minions just stay on the board. So what am I waiting for here? My shield for Argon. I'm not entirely sure. I have no AoE in this deck, so it's kind of a challenge. I have one AoE. I have Abyssal Enforcer. So I need that Abyssal Enforcer. I originally had two Abyssal Enforcer in the deck. Or I need the Enguro pack to give me some AoE. Or maybe uh, I'll take Kalamos? No, that's a Shaman card. Oh, I could just win by actually completing the quest, that's right. That's kind of the goal of the deck, right? I almost forgot I can win by doing that. Eventually, another portal will uh, give me enough value to just win. Hey, my hand was actually pretty good before. What happened? Ah, oh, he watered the plant. Alright, Lakari Sacrifice, here we go. I think I've come to the conclusion that this deck is just worse than Handlock. This deck as stands is definitely worse than Handlock. It does seem like in order to actually complete the Lakari Sacrifice deck, I do need all of the card discard that I have in the deck, so the only real change I can make is cutting the elementals. I have such a low hand right now, and I just completed the quest, so it implies that you need this many cards to do it. Maybe the quest is just bad. That's probably the case. Hey, science is required. Using Deathwing, though, it gets outclassed by just playing Jaraxxus. I completed the quest on turn 9 and played the portal by turn 9. It's actually not bad. But it was against, like, a super defensive deck. Huh, still lose. Blah. Oh, pack. Pack hype. Okay, corrupting mist. It's pretty good. Triggered death rattle effect. That'd be pretty good at the uh, other things. An unexpected egg hatching. I played that uh, elemental to enable all my elemental plays. Of which it looks like I now have twice as many. Uh, uh, this is definitely a very amusing deck. I'm getting that value from another portal now. I have the inevitability on my side. So Fortunately I got Corrupting so Mist, otherwise I'm pretty sure I would have lost. Since I can't kill that uh, mountain giant. So I didn't think Twisting Nether was very good, because you can't actually follow up that with anything. Well, we get a sense of how good Swamp King Dread is here, at least. Seems pretty good here. Man, that's crazy to think about how I could possibly get Yogg to run into my hand in a competitive game. How is that even possible? The madness. Brothers, 
good stuff. The classic double Azure Drake play. Well, I mean, if Nether Portal lasts, it definitely wins games. That's how the card works. So much value. I'm fairly confident Deathwing uh, as the only discard option is not good though. So the question is, is Elemental is too ambitious? Is Zoo the proper fit? Or is no car or is no deck the proper fit? Wow. It's actually the same result. We can praise Yogg, I guess. Dang. We missed out on some uh, serious possibilities of winning me.